First Alert Forecast with meteorologist Jan Ryherd. Looking over Cedar Falls right now, you can see a little bit of blue skies and sunshine breaking through for us at this time. As we head through the next several hours, I think we'll see those clouds breaking up just a little bit more, starting to see a little bit more of that sunshine heading through for us. As we head through the evening hours, though, looking like that will kind of reverse. We'll see more clouds building back in later on today. However, it is a quiet day. Nothing highlighted in your first alert over the next 24 hours should be a pretty quiet and easy going one for us. Let's check out that zone cast for today in our northeastern zone, climbing to around 42 in Strawberry Point, Farley as well, 44 in Dubuque and Guttenberg, Monona, you're up to around 41 in our northwestern zone, Shell Rock around 43, 42 for Fayette, Independence, Waterloo, Rhinebeck, all up to around 40. Central zone climbs to around 44 as well in Cedar Rapids. Blairstown up to around 45. Tama, Dysart up to around 46 this afternoon. And our southern zone just a touch warmer with 47 in Kelowna, 48 Kyoto, uh, Washington and Wachir, Iowa City right around 45 here today. Here's the rest of the afternoon. Pinpoint Future Cast again showing those clouds kind of relaxing a little bit, a little sunshine breaking through and then building back in as we head through the remainder of the day, but we're dry through the rest of the day today. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies as those clouds are increasing. We're down back to around the freezing point overnight tonight. And then as we head into the day tomorrow, look for another mild one. Temperatures back into the 40s for us. Cloudy skies overhead though. I think we're going to keep those clouds around pretty thick tomorrow. Not really much sunshine able to get through. Let's run through Pinpoint Futurecast Wednesday and into Thursday. Plenty of precipitation, uh, light snow showers or rain showers off into central Iowa, but it really has a tough time getting over into eastern Iowa through the day tomorrow. So I think we're still dry tomorrow. By Thursday morning, you'll notice that we start to see a little no, uh, nose of snow kind of pushing into the area, and that's going to only continue to intensify, becoming more widespread as we head through Thursday afternoon and into the evening. Some rain mixes into the south. That's going to limit those snowfall totals further to the south. And that can continues still into early in the morning on Friday. Right now, looking like the highest snow is going to be in the far north uh, with lighter totals farther to the south. Uh, this still could very much change. You'll notice that confidence uh, kind of right in the middle of that low to high range as we are still seeing a wide variety in our modeling coming in. So do continue to check back for further updates. But the main story right now is we're quiet through the day tomorrow, but cloudy and then precipitation likely throughout the day on Thursday for us. Rain more likely the farther to the south that you go. Some light snow showers then Friday morning and then a second system heads our way this coming weekend looking like that one uh, mainly for us in the form of some snow showers late in the day on Saturday and then continuing for us there into the day on Sunday as we lose an hour there early that morning. Uh, but Altogether, you know, we've been, been been mild for a little while. We know it's still March in Iowa. We know that we can still get those big impactful storm systems and Yet again, it's going to be on a Thursday. So I say at this point, we should just plan on Thursdays. Yeah, that's the snow day, and but not a great weekend ahead. That's it, a change. It really isn't. It, the, yeah, the temperatures are going to be cooler this weekend, and we do have those chances for precipitation. I think most of the daytime hours on Saturday um, is really shouldn't see too much in terms of any precipitation, but we are going to see those cooler temperatures. So not as quite, not quite as good to enjoy outside. It is March after all. It is March. All right, thanks.